We're going to talk about how WordPress themes actually work now. So you have probably checked out some of the designs here on Theme Forest, like I mentioned in the previous lesson, but you probably are thinking, man, I wonder how this stuff actually works. Well, I'm going to walk you through it right about now. All right, so in order to do that, we're going to download a theme that we've already downloaded. So we'll just go over here to Downloads, and I'm just going to pick a random one. So let's say we want this one. So we'll just try download and we're going to go with installable WordPress file only. That's the easiest way to really get started and just to save you some time and trouble and all that good stuff. But in case you want to download some more, you can always download other ones. We'll download the Bayside or whichever. Okay. So I already have this website that I set up in the previous lessons and it's jeffdunn.co. That's me but this is literally just the default installation. So we have not much going on for us. So what we're going to do is log in and start checking out the back end of this. So we'll close out this window. We'll just navigate over here to my, uh, my website. And this is after you log in, of course, so make sure you're logged in. And we're just gonna go to dashboard. And so as I said, this part of the lesson is all about how themes work. So we're gonna talk about that. Basically, you go to Appearance. You can ignore the stuff on the dashboard for now. Go to Appearance and Themes. So as you can see, there's only two default themes here. But let's say we want to install the one that we just downloaded from Theme Forest. We click on Install and then Upload. And now we're just going to choose right here. So we'll do this one, the Bayside theme. It doesn't matter as long as it's a .zip file um, and it's formatted properly, you should be good to go. So now we're going to do activate, but you can hit live preview so you can see what it'll all look like before it goes live to the world. So that's good if you're running a website with a lot of people coming to it. But if you're just making a site that not a lot of people are seeing, then feel free to hit activate. So there we go. Now you can see those two default themes down here are at the bottom, but this is the current theme right there. So let's just quickly check out what that looks like. All right, so we're going to go here. So this looks a little bit different than the default theme, right? We're going to now make some tweaks. So since it's a premium theme, it comes with lots of theme options. So I'll just click on theme options right here. And it has a ton of things. Your theme is going to look different. And I'm just going to click on some random things, to be honest. Uh, and then we'll just hit save. All right, so now we have saved our theme options. So it shouldn't look too different or anything. But let's say we wanna tweak this stuff here on the left. It may be on the right for you, but we'll click over under appearance, we'll click on widgets. And as you can see, it has search, recent posts, recent comments, and all that. And here's search, recent posts, recent comments, and all that. So let's say we wanna delete all that stuff. All right, we're just gonna go click here, the arrow down and hit the delete button. Uh, if I'm doing this too fast, feel free to pause the video and try this out yourself, but you can just go and delete them all. And it's as simple as that. Let's say then we want to just drag over one widget instead, and that'll be a lot easier to manage. So we should just have one in there now. So I'm going to go here and just hit refresh. And there you go. So now we got rid of all that stuff except for this one widget. So we'll just click on hello world and that'll show you what the post will look like. So yours will obviously look different. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is create a menu. So we'll just go under Appearance and Menus, and we'll hit uh, right here, Main Menu, and we'll hit Create Menu right on the right. All right, so let's just say we don't really have much for the menu yet, but we'll just hit View All Home Sample Page Add to Menu, and you can always drag and drop these things. Uh, to make one a sub-item, you can just move it over to the right a little bit. It's as simple as that. So we'll hit Save Menu, uh, and in order to activate it, we have to go here under Manage Locations. So we're just going to do that. And now keep an eye on up here on the top left. We'll just hit Refresh. And there you go. So now we have Sample Page and Home. And if we want to add things to that menu as we go on, like categories for our posts and all that stuff, you just click here, Add to Menu, and it'll automatically save it. Uh, or it'll automatically add it, and then you have to hit the blue save button. Sorry. Okay, so now we'll hit refresh, and now I added the uncategorized category right here. All right, so that's pretty straightforward, right? 
Now we're going to just simply walk through the really crazy easy parts. So that's under Customize. And this is where every theme should have the option to change what the title is of your website. So I'm just going to call it Jeff Dunn. And we'll leave the tagline. It doesn't matter. Uh, we can change the background colors, as you see here, the font colors, the navigation. This is where we were just playing around with the menus. And you can make a static front page. So you can make it all your blog posts. But if you're running a business, you can make it a static page. And let's say we want that sample page to be our home page. And it'll show you what it looks like. Or, and then you can select where you want your post to be if you want a separate blog page. But we're not going to do that. So in any case, let's hit Save and Publish. So it's saved. And now we'll just hit Refresh again. And you can see up here, it's now called Jeff Dunn instead of My Website. Pretty straightforward, right? And this theme, at least, I think is pretty nifty. It has a side-scrolling thing on that side. But other than that, it's really easy to play around with. So that's how themes work, and that's the nuts and bolts. So I'd go into more detail on this one, but you probably won't be using this theme. So be sure to just play around and don't be afraid of messing around with the widgets, the menus, the theme options. And you can probably stay away from the editor area, which is literally just all the code that actually powers your site. So if you're comfortable with that, then be sure to check out the header and footer and CSS of your theme. But otherwise, you can ignore it and just use the really basic stuff like this customized tab. All right, I hope that made sense. See you in the next lesson.